And this is your election command center. Remember, we have um, people on the ground, colleagues, correspondents, reporters all across the country, making sure that we bring you all the detail tomorrow. The MPP's primary, a total of 700 delegates in the Bosom Chi constituency of the new Patriotic Party have by popular acclamation endorsed Dr. Osei Yao Duchum as the party's candidate for the 2020 parliamentary elections. Dr. Yao Duchum, who is a deputy education minister in charge of basic and secondary and member of parliament for the area, was the sole candidate at the primary. Here's a report by Benjamin Aidu. The process of endorsement was carried by 100 delegates at a time to ensure social distancing protocols are observed. The Busum Tree constituency executives say the good performance of Dr. Yao Educhung as their member of parliament earned him the endorsement to contest on the post. This was after broad consultations with traditional authorities, the clergy, polling station executives and other stakeholders. Constituency Chairman Akins Adaipoku said the performance of the MP attracted respect and applause from the constituents. And aside everything, we've also seen that he have brought the image of the, uh, the constituency to bear that the, the whole country uh, I mean, have witnessed the good work that he's doing. So we realized we have to sit down, we talk to each other, and we came to a, com a conclusion that I think from the way he has worked as an MP for the constituency and the entire nation, of course, we have to help him so that he can go on oppose. Everybody accepted the, this and the plea, and we decided to do what we are seeing today. Dr. Yao Educhum was grateful to the delegates and party leaders for the confidence reposed in him. Uh, five years ago when I was first elected by the delegates, they gave me 72% of the votes in the primary and today I have 100%. So obviously I'm happy that uh, they've rallied behind me uh, to ensure that I can lead Bosom Chain to great transformation. Uh, we are transforming our constituency, no doubt. The MP promised to garner over 90% of votes in the December 2020 parliamentary and presidential elections. So far, NDC doesn't have a candidate in Bosom Chain. So I don't know if I'm going on a post again at the general election, but maybe somebody will make. But whoever comes, we are going to walk away with not less than 90% of the votes and to deliver Nanado Dan a resounding victory in Bosom Chain and to tell the world that uh, Bosom Chain is rising. During the 2016 primary, Dr. Educhung defeated the Ashanti Regional Minister, Simon Osei Mensa, who was the incumbent MP. Over 26,000 delegates will on Saturday take part in the ruling new patriotic parties primaries across the Ashanti region. 16 constituencies will not have a contest. William Evans Sinkum earlier spoke with Patrick Echampong, the Ashanti Regional Director of Elections and Research. Ashanti region, the, based on uh, the last statistics that we had, that we used to organize our 2008 um, constituency elections, we had 5,203 polling stations. It is based on this figure that we use. And based on that, now we have three orphan constituencies. They've um, done their elections. So it's left with 44 constituencies. And the 44 constituencies, the total number of um, police stations left is about 4,800 and something. And then the electoral areas, too, we have, if you deduct that of the three constituencies, we are left with about 1,060 something polling uh, electoral areas so in order you know every police station we have five people who are going to vote so if you do the calculation including the constituency executives the council of elders and then um patrons and then founding members we we are about the figure is about twenty six thousand six hundred there about i'm talking about the 44 um constituencies that are going to be involved in these um, elections.